Hi, this is Dr. Michelle Medrano. Welcome to another episode of Contemplate This. Often when I end my episodes, I invite people to make comments or ask questions. And somebody who was watching one of our episodes recently asked about humility. I think this is a really great topic for us to talk about today in this episode. And so have you wondered about where does humility fit in to new thought, to metaphysics, to these beautiful principles? Well, I have, and I find it a a very interesting topic to contemplate. And so what I humbly suggest today about humility is this. I think it's one of the paradoxes in life, a koan. It's a very interesting place to be when one is being uh, filled with humility. And it's not about being, um, being something who, the, someone who is less than or, or belittling ourselves. To me, I don't think that's what humility is. The square place of humility, the, the center of humility exists in the concept of unity and diversity. Those two things going hand in hand in our New Thought teachings. Unity, meaning that this presence, God presence, this creative source and force that created all of this universe, including me, including you, has expressed itself through us magnificently and uniquely. And that each one of us is filled with this presence and all of us share this truth. Therefore, the God presence is leaving itself out from no one or no thing. So everyone has it. So everyone is magnificent. Everyone is special and unique. Everyone is made of God stuff. And at the same time, each of us is a unique expression of that. And that part of the place that we get to walk in life is to feel how we're all the same, which can be very humbling at times, yet how we're all different and special and unique. We all have our own DNA. We're all snowflakes, each one of us an individual flake of snow falling from the sky. We're all unique beings and can celebrate and be present and be happy and embrace the fullness of who we are without shying away from it. So for me, humility is understanding that about myself and about every other person that I come in contact with. I'm not better or worse than anyone. I'm not more special or less special than anyone. I am me. You are you. And from the standpoint of the universe, each one of us is celebrated because of our connection in the infinite and because we are uniquely special. We're uniquely us. So go out today and be your your unique, wonderful self. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for that comment. And I would love to have more, more comments, more questions. Always welcome. Thanks.